Sairam, today we are going to learn one of another topic of series that means alphabetic series. In the last class we have already learned the num uh, num uh, number series and okay, now it is alphabetical series. What is the first question? How many pairs of letters are there in the word presence which have as many letters between them in the word in the alphabet? Okay, let us see how to uh, do it. Okay, this is the present. Okay, present. P R E S E N C E present. Okay, let us count from uh, as alphabetic order. The okay P P Q R P Q R -E S. Yes, this is the one pair of letters. Okay, this is the one pair of letters. That means P K R E P Q R -E S. Okay, this is the one pair of letters. Then uh, R S. Yes. T U V W no letters are pairs are there. Okay. Uh, next letter is R. R ka baad kya hai? R S yes, T U V W X no letters. R uh, you have to count backward also. R yes no. In E next letter is E. E ka baad E F G H I J no letters are there. No pairs are there. E ka baad left side uh, in reverse order. E F G no. Then yes. O P Q R yes. Yes ka baad yes T U V W no letters. S T U V no letters. Then C. No, it is E. Okay. E presents E. E about the E F G H no. E F G H I no letters. Then N. N ka baad N O P. N O P Q R. Yes. This is second letter. Second pair. Okay. First pair is P or S. This is the first letters. First pair. Then this is the second pair. That is N N R. Then N ke baad jo hai E, C, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, yes, this is the third pairs of letters, this is the third pairs, C, D, E, F, G, H, okay, then C ke baad E, E, E ke baad E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, no, no, that means there are three pairs of letters are there, okay, three pairs of letters, we have to just count from the letters that in the, in the same order, uh, in, in, we have to find out how many letters are there as in the alphabet. For example, P. P. K. Q. R. S. Yes. R. S. Is the same place as it is. Okay. P. P. Q. Bad. Q. Hai. Q. Ni aya ni. P. Q. R. O. P. Q. R. R. Bini aya. Lekin yes aya. O. P. Yes. This is the one pair of letters. And C. C. K. Bad. C. D. E. This is also. In, it is backward. But it, there is also one more. Okay. Here, N, N, O, P, Q, R. This is also a pair. There are three pairs of letters. This is the answer. Okay. Then let us see how to the, do the second question. Second question means, if the second half of the given alphabet is written in the reverse order, which letter will be the seventh to the right of the twelfth letter from the left? If the second half of the given alphabet is written in the reverse order, as we know the alphabet uh, A to Z, uh, we, we are all know. Suppose if the second half of the alphabet it is written in the reverse order. Okay, first part as it is uh, we have to write, then second part if we have to write in the reverse order. Then which letter will be seventh to the right of the twelfth letter from the left? Hand? Okay, how to do it? Let us see. Okay, first we have to write the alphabet A to Z. Okay. This is alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. As you know, we are the 26 letters are there. Okay. M is the 13th letter. Okay. M is the 13th letter. N is the 14th letter. That means A to M. This is the first half. N to Z. This is the second half. In the question, it is clearly mentioned that if the second half of the given alphabet is written in the reverse order. That means A to M. We have to write in the same order. But N to Z. We have to write in the reverse order. That means after M. Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N. We have to write in the opposite, means reverse order. After that, 
which letter will be seventh to the right of the twelfth letter? That means seven plus twelve, nineteenth letter from the left end. Okay. After writing in the reverse order, we have to count from the left end, uh, which will be the nineteenth letter. Nineteenth means seven plus twelfth. That means nineteenth letter. Okay. Here, don't write the second half of the alphabet in the reverse order, because which will be time consuming. Okay. Suppose if you write in the reverse order, it will be time consuming. Just count from the last of the second half. M is the thirteenth letter, or the last letter of the first half. So. U will be the nineteenth one. That means A to M. It is thirteenth letter. Thirteenth के बाद जो है fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen U. U will be the nineteenth letter. We have to count from the last end. Okay, that will be better. Suppose if you write in the reverse order, it will take time. Okay, it will be time consuming. Okay, this is the method. This is the easiest method. Okay. Then let us see the third question. How many independent words can "heartless" be divided without changing the order of the letters and using each letter only once? Okay, let us see how to do it. What is the question? Heartless. Okay, heartless. Let's see how to write heartless. H E A R T L E S. Yes, this is the heartless. Okay, question is, how many independent, uh, how many independent words can heartless be divided without changing the order? Okay, this is the question. Okay, how many, how many independent words can heartless be divided without changing the order? So, order me change ni karna chahiye. Of the letters and using each letter only once. Okay, without changing the order and use on the letters only once. Okay, that means we cannot change the order and we cannot use the letter more than one. Okay, that means he he is the independent letter and R R is also independent letter. Less it is also independent. that means we can make three independent words can make the word add less. Okay, then we cannot make. Okay. He is the one word. R is another word. So less is the word. And we cannot change another word. We, one, we may keep it mind mind that using each letter only once, and we have to write without changing the order. Then we can make only three letters. Okay, this is the answer. Okay, let us see the next question. Question number four. Question number four. Where is question number four? Let us see question number four. If the first and second letters in the word depression were interchanged, so first and second letters were interchanged. Also, third and fourth letters, and fifth and sixth letters, and so on. Which of the following would be the seventh letter from the right? Okay, depression first, first and second, second and uh, third and fourth, and so on. Okay, let us use the blackboard. Then I can make you understand with using the blackboard. Okay. What is the word? It is depression. Depression. Okay. D E P R E S S I O E. Depression. Okay. What is the uh, what is the question? Question. What is the question? Is indicated. Question says, uh, if the first and second letters of the word depression were interchanged, the first and second were interchanged. Okay, either I go, you either try. Okay, and third and fourth, fifth and sixth, seven and eight, nine and ten. Okay, all are interchanged. Okay, then. Which of the following would be the seventh letter from the right end? Okay, in this case, please keep it in your mind. In this case, in this type of example, just add plus one, plus one for odd numbers, plus one for odd numbers, and minus one for even numbers. Okay, and we have to find out the seventh number, seventh letter, seventh. Seven is the odd. That means seven plus one 
that means eighth letter eighth letter okay uh, from the right end right end that means one two three four five six seven eight that means p is the answer p will be the answer suppose if we write in first and second is reverse and we don't uh, 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 don't you write in the opposite in this type of example please mind, keep it in mind in this type of example just add plus one for odd numbers and minus for one even numbers don't try to interchange the letters it will take a timing uh, which will be time consuming okay don't try to interchange the letters okay we have to just count it from the uh, given the side that means right end that means p will be the answer okay okay so let us see the next question question number fifth five question question number five so you know question number five says if the four letters of the word concentration are written in reverse order followed by two in the reverse order and next three in the reverse order and then followed by the four in the reverse order counting from the right end which letter would be the eighth in the new arrangement okay concentration is the bed okay usko jo last four letters reverse order mein likhna hai uske baad second two letters fir three letters fir four letters okay we have to write all the letters in the reverse order in the short okay then which letter would be the eighth from the new arrangement which letter will be the eighth from the new arrangement okay let us see in the you can use the blackboard that will be more easy okay first we have to write the word what is the word it is concentration it is concentration c o n c e e n concentration t r a t i o n concentration this is the word. okay the four, last four letters that means last four letters then two letters two letters then three letters three letters then four letters okay we have to write all the letters in the reverse order okay in these types of example please keep it in mind in these types of example all the letters will be in the reverse order okay they are telling if the four or if the last four letters of the word concentration are written in the reverse order followed by the next two in the reverse order next three in the reverse order then the followed by the last four letters are also in the reverse order counting from the right end which letter would be the eighth in this types of example all the letters will be reverse order so don't write so okay don't write in reverse order just count from opposite direction okay here eighth from the right end means a count eighth from the left end okay don't write in the reverse order please count from the left end okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight that means r will be the answer okay r will be the answer okay please just keep the mind which type of examples are they are asked okay please keep it in your mind it is very important and it will be asked in the examination okay don't uh, write in reverse so right in time uh, take time okay okay let us uh, do the sixth question sixth question is if the position of the first and sixth letters in the word distribute are interchanged okay first and sixth letters are interchanged similarly the position of the second and seventh third and eighth and so on which of the following letters will be fifth from the left end interchanging position it is also very important it is very easiest question okay okay let us see how to do it okay what is this uh, word it is a distribute distribute okay first write distribute d i s t r i b u t e distribute okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 it is the 10 letter word okay now they are calling first and sixth letter this is the first letter 2 3 4 5 okay this is the five this is the first half of the 10th uh, letter this is second half of the letter okay we are saying first and sixth letter are interchanged second and si seventh third and eighth 
fourth and ninth and fifth and tenth are to be interchanged okay then the question is question is after interchanging one minute distributor okay in these types of example first half of the second half of the letters are there okay they are interchanged so don't try to interchange just to take opposite direction okay they asked first uh, fifth letter from the left end that means fifth letter from the right end means we have to count from the fifth letter from the right end that means e will be the answer okay we have to count fifth letter from the right end right hand not left hand but right hand okay this is the method okay that means e will be the answer okay see the which type of example they are asked okay it is very important okay question number 7 okay if it is possible to make a meaningful word if it is possible to make a meaningful word with the first fourth seventh and eleventh letters of the word interpretation which of the following is the third letter of the word if no such word can be made give x as the answer if more than one such word can use be made give m as the answer okay this is the question but means interpretation is the word is the first letter that means i the fourth letter that means e the seventh letter that is in r and the eleventh letter is that means t okay that means i e r t these four letters are there okay so let us see the blackboard okay what is mean interpretation i e n t e r p r e t a t i o e interpretation is the first letter is i fourth letter is e e and seventh letter is r and eleventh letter is t okay that means i e r t this is the four letter first fourth seventh and eleventh letters okay if it is possible to make a meaningful word with the first fourth seventh and eleventh letters of the word interpretation which of the following is the third letter of the word that word okay hum uh, we can ye char letters use karne ke baad hame ek meaningful word banana hai and we have to make uh, find out which letter will be the third letter of that word okay if no such word can be made give x as the answer if no word can be made we have to give x as the answer okay and if more than one such can be made we have to give m as the answer suppose more than one that means m will be the answer okay how many letters we can make with using the i e r t okay meaningful word okay we can make r i t e r i t e this is the one word okay right again we can make t i e r t i r t i e r and we can make tire also t i i r not we don't use the uh, just we have to check it how many letters can make ha huh? we can make that means x will not be uh, ants okay can we make more than two yes we can make more than two there are, we can make three letters are there that means m will be the ants okay if more than one sorry more than one such word can be made yes we can make three letters so m will be the ants okay here m is the answer this is the sentence okay we we should know how to the question is okay how to solve this problem okay question number 8th one sky ram top ute snp how many letters are there in the english alphabetic series between the third of second word from the left end and second letter of the second word from the right end <laughs> it is also very easy okay let us see how to use it this is this this type of typical question will be asked in the competitive examination okay but it is very easy okay don't uh, okay what are the letters sky s k y sky a letter hai ram r a m ram t o p top and 
UTE, UTE, UT, and SNP, SNP. Okay, five letters, five words are given. Okay, how many letters are there in the English alphabetic series between the third of the second word from the left end? Okay, third of the second word from the left end. This is the left end. This is the first word. This is second word. Third letter from the second word. Okay. Third of the second word. That means yam. Yam is the letter. Okay. Third uh, of the second word from the left end. And second letter of the second word from the right end. This is right end. This is the first letter. This is second word. Okay. Uh, then second let, uh, letter of the second word. That means T from the right end. That means yam and Okay, M and T. Okay, what is the question? How many letters are there in the English alphabetical series between the third of the second word from the left hand and second letter of the second word from the right hand? That means M or T. So, which may how many letters are there in the alphabetical order? Oh, that means M. M ke baad N, O, P, Q, R, S, then T. Okay, then T. Then how many letters are there? N, O, P, Q, R, S. That means six letters are there. Okay, six letters are there. What is the question? Sky, Ram, Top, U, T, E, A, S, L, P. Okay, this is the five ways. Okay. How many letters are there in the English alphabetical series between the third of the second word from the left end? Left end, second word. This is the first word, this is the second word. Third letter from the second word that means M. And um, second, it is the first word of the right hand, it is second word from the right hand. That means second letter of the second word from the right hand. That means M and T. How many letters are there in the English alphabet between M and T? M ka baad, N O P Q R S T. Okay, M or T ka baad, there are six letters are there. This is the question. Okay. I think you got the point. It is the alphabetical series. Okay. Sairam so, to all.